What is happening here? What is happening here? Is it? What 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 is it? Double trouble! Oh. <laughs> I breathed it in. <laughs> oh, I'll probably have to do the show now. Oh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> what is it? What is it? Short lived. Um, mm. Well, it's nitrogen. It's liquid nitrogen. Oh, which couldn't you get any of the powdered stuff? No, no, I didn't want to because oh. that we're going to use this in experiments because it's mm. very, very interesting. And a person who was very, very interesting and we have not had on this year but had on last year with marvellous right. stuff like this yeah. is Dean Hutton. Very well. well this and is I've excellent. been thinking up new things you can do with liquid nitrogen. Well, oh, right. explain to the people at home what liquid nitrogen well, is. Well, before we start, Daryl, maybe you better put your gloves and glasses yeah, on. Yeah, put your gloves and glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's 80% uh, of the stuff in the air is nitrogen, but it's right. an invisible gas normally. Uh, the people at CIG all around Australia every day change lots and lots of it, thousands of litres, into liquid. <laughs> Watch where you're by lowering the, the temperature. <laughs> And squeezing it, and it turns into that colourless liquid. Mm -hmm. right. and, it, and it's actually minus 196 degrees Celsius. Right. So wow. stuff. Well, a bit like a uh, bit like mum's side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what your dad said? Yeah. Now, right. believe it or not, some people have said when they die, they want their bodies to be put in this stuff so oh, that they're frozen. Yeah. That's not, how they... Yeah. It's cryonics, they call mm, it, That's right, right. yes. Yeah. And they're hoping that some time in the future a cure for the disease from which they died might be found, they can be thawed out and then maybe come well, back to life. Yeah, Walt Disney had this done to That's it. right. Yeah. My dad was going to have it done, Mr Summers, till yes. he saw the size of that icy pole stick. Yeah, <laughs> yes, well, no, I, don't, no, I don't think they do it that way, no, uh, no. Dickie, no. no. Funny you should talk about Walt Disney because we have a sausage oh. here representing oh, Walt, Walt Disney. Walt Disney. Oh, right. gonna, my oh, goodness me. My goodness oh, me, I'll that's, never, that's never been publicised. Yeah. Great. No. <laughs> and, and lucky Mrs Disney. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. Now we're going to leave, go. leave Walt in there for a while to <laughs> see what would there. happen to him <laughs> yeah. when he gets down to that temperature. It's more like Pluto. No. Never saw such a thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Meanwhile, everybody's oh. wondering what would happen to a banana if we put that in liquid nitrogen, so we'll drop that in there for now a few minutes. Oh, right. Is that burning or what? What's no, no, it's actually freezing. You see, all of the frozen foods that you buy in the supermarket, yeah. peas, beans, pizzas, they've all been frozen with this stuff, liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Right. But so far, Daryl, I don't think anybody's cornered the market for frozen bananas, no. nor for frozen lettuce leaves. No. Well, we've found so, the origin of a frozen pea yeah. to start uh -huh. with, mm -hmm. and now we're going to look at what they do with... <laughs> they wouldn't freeze lettuce normally. They no, wouldn't. I think I'd rather They have wouldn't pea. normally, but let's see what happens <laughs> if we dip it into the liquid nitrogen for yes. just a few seconds. Yeah. Now, I'm watching and listening, Daryl, because I want to wait until the liquid nit nitrogen stops boiling so furiously, because I'll know then that the temperature of the lettuce is down to that of the liquid nitrogen, minus 196 degrees Celsius. Now, minus 196 degrees Celsius? Minus 196 degrees. Shh, colder cold. than the coldest day in the Antarctic. Colder than some parts of outer space. OK, have a look at this. Okay, Bring it over the... here. Now, I want you to watch and listen as Daryl crushes it. Just, just crush it a little bit and then drop it. Wow. Ah. Fantastic. Yes, yeah. What did it sound like? It's glass. It's a, yeah, it's, it's so... Nice. <laughs> like potato crisps. <laughs> it's so brittle, it's like glass, yeah. yeah. Now, Daryl, um, everybody loves eggs for breakfast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have an egg. Thank you. Uh, just a minute. This and has not we'll... been frozen, has it? No, it hasn't, but no, it's about that, to be. Please. Oh, no, it's okay. I thought it might have been one of mine. That's no, not one of yours. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. What do you no. like, no. cracking eggs on the side of the fry pan? Well, we'll have a go, yeah. Whoops, there we go. Put that in there like that. There you go. And I'll try one as well. And if you look at those eggs, it looks remarkably like Can't see uh, fried them. eggs. Can't see them for smoke. Oh, there yes, they it are. does look remarkably yeah. like uh, fried uh, eggs. But one of, of course, they're not cooking. They're uncooking because the they're liquid nitrogen is taking heat out of them. It's right. like one of those eggs right. you get at a motel. Yeah. Yes. So listen, how long do you leave a banana in? Uh, this is kind of what's freezing. <laughs> this is uh, the yeah. segment. Yeah. How long do you leave a banana in your uh, bowl of uh, nitrogen? Um, well, we can see how it's going. Actually, oh. it looks. It still looks like an ordinary banana, doesn't yes. it? Don't but at like this point, banana? we might find that we can actually use it for something else in the workshop. Oh right. right. For example, if you've uh, lost it's your um, quite cold even through these. Yeah. If you've lost your hammer, yeah. just hold that for me, Daryl. Yeah. Uh, then we'll see how the 
My goodness me! Uh, Do not try this! Do not try this at home! This is a frozen banana! Do not try this at home! But if you ring now, don't send any money! We'll bill you! Don't send any money! And we'll set a free set of dropping frozen bananas! Which was probably supposed to smash then, right? Oh, there it goes. Banana Look split. Look at yeah. that. Split. Yeah. Oh, split. that's incredible. Yeah. Now, now I, let's see how the egg's going. You told uh, me something about a feather. Feathers. Oh, yes, in a moment. But have a look at the eggs. Um, now, they do look like fried eggs a little bit, really that's messy the way ones. Does but you can't do this with an ordinary fried egg at home. Hold the pan upside down, right. then hold it <laughs> over your head. <laughs> now, oh, dear. Uh -oh. Erky you perky. Can, uh -oh. Yeah. oh, what's out You can You're actually hold now. them sideways, like that. Yeah. yeah. Fascinating yeah. stuff. Hard as a rock. Hard as a okay. rock. That's you the way see... Mum cooks them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably she never get to work in the morning waiting for the things to thaw. When they uh, thaw out, though, they'll be perfectly normal soft eggs again, and you could cook them if you right. want. Right. Let me use a feather now because you want yes. to. Um... Yeah. Well, it, Do you mind? I've seen how it shatters things: what? bananas what? and lettuce hmm? leaves. Ah! Okay. Oh. Imagine the oh, mess dear. that this will make. Oh, right. Dip it in there, Daryl. <laughs> yeah. So, sudden change in continuity. I think I might have a blood pressure problem. <laughs> now, I can put that in there like that. Yes. Oh, careful. Put that in there. You can like... imagine how brittle it's going to become. Yes, well, like the lettuce leaf, if, uh, yeah. if that froze yeah. like that. You're not then... going to stick it back in, are you, Daryl? <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, I okay. don't think oh, not yet. Good. Take it out. Right. Take it out. And, and you're actually in for a surprise because it's still soft and pliable oh. and it doesn't, it doesn't shatter at all. <laughs> Why is in, it so? Yeah, in fact, I'm glad you asked. Mm. Feathers on birds, all birds, yeah. uh, are made of tiny little tubes with no water in them. See, all oh. these other foodstuffs have got water. That's freezing to ice, that's what caused them Could to crack. Could have felt, mate. No water in feathers. Right. Little Jeez. hollow tubes, which is great for birds if they're flying to the Antarctic. Yeah. What about a duck? <laughs> what, a at duck? this hour of the night, Funny, you yeah. should oh. ask. <laughs> duck duck okay. feathers? Forget the duck. Right. Pluckers feathers? Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Rather delayed. It was the fourth time I had to put it in. <laughs> I know, but you... You, had to you cut that, didn't you? Sorry? Black as feathers, just as soft. Black as feathers, just as soft. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You learn something every day. Darryl, Liquid nitrogen. Now, what have you got minute. for well, a big feed? Well, Walt really... Disney. Hey, Walt Darryl. Disney. I wouldn't want oh. to have my body frozen because it'd be just my luck. They'd bring me out. they say, yeah, oh. we think we've got a cure for the What's disease. And then if they drop me on the hospital floor... Oh, oh yeah. look! Walt is broken in pieces. Oh, his legs and arms are gone everywhere. Yeah, oh. Ray Punjas missed yet another moment in history. <laughs> oh dear! Did we miss the that break there? What a shame! It broke. The world's the world's most useless object, a lead bell. A lead right. bell. Thud, thud, thud. That's Dip it in there for a while. Let's see what happens. What about a chocolate teapot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what a rank with this. How about an ashtray on the motorbike? That's pretty useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what the lead bell's like now. Listen carefully. Oh. A bit of a tinkle. It's Absolutely only about the second incredible. Listen, one final thing. There. One final Completely thing. Completely out of time. But yeah. So we'll just pour this in. Pour this in. What do you yeah. pour? You pour nitrogen. I'm pouring liquid in. nitrogen into that uh, tin right. can. Yes. This is an idea I got from Rick Daly and Bill Williams at the CSIRO in Adelaide. Oh, right. Good old yes. Good old Rick and Bill. Said, I know what we yeah. do next. Now, have a, <laughs> have a look at this. Spend 15 years on uh, pouring nitrogen into a can. Uh, the nitrogen is inside the can, but it's, oh, it's causing something to form on the outside. Can you see it dripping, dripping, outside. dripping, dripping. Uh, a bit of water there dripping. Well, down. you might think it's water. You think, ah, oh, yeah, water is condensing on the outside of the can. No way, because water. Uh, would have frozen by now. It's something else. I think it may be oxygen. That's no, water. No, it's oxygen. Lemonade. Water. Come nah. on. Nah, it's yeah, if it's water, I if it's it's water what will happen if I drop a match into it? It'll go out. Okay, let's see what happens when we drop a match into it. Yeah, it went out. See? Let's see what it went out again. Yeah. Yeah, that, no that's problem. Because the match is going out before it hits the oxygen. Let's get that taper. Should have yeah. gone with yeah, the, the taper. Yeah, the match is going out. I think you need to uh, have a taper of paper, you see. Yeah. Put some petrol in my bill. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. No, we don't We've just found a whole experiment here, but are there any practical <laughs> uses for this uh, at all? This stuff, liquid, ox uh, liquid nitrogen. Oh, it's it's being used throughout the uh, the world. Here's a taper. Um, of course, in the uh, artificial insemination industry, they freeze sperm cells, they freeze uh, egg cells. What, well, and then set fire to them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's only for babies that want to have it in a warmer climate. How stupid is that? Put this now. It's, um, now, this will be the piece. If this goes off, if yeah. this works, and you reckon that's not water, you're saying I'm that that is oxygen. Yeah. If this happens, by the way, you're probably going to get the taper in the... Um, 
into the test tube, it's, it's not, it's too thick, and it's gone out again. Yeah, but it's gone out again. We could be here. Yeah, we could be here forever. That's right. If you take okay. this long with bulls, they're going to lose interest. <laughs> Here we go. Here we, go. Here we are, lighting the bull's taper. Yes. At least at home, your house is going up in value while you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, hey, we're going to say thank you uh, to Dean now. Oh, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to thank Dean for the moment. And we, what we might do is we're going to come back in a day oh, or two boy. and see if that's quite a lot. Yeah. Let's see if we've got enough oxygen it's there. It's oxygen to, in there to, to prove it's oxygen. Fire. Dean is going to try to light it, and Here if we it's go. oxygen, Ready, it will set. burn. Oh, wow, wow, look at that! <laughs> Ta-da! Put it there, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> he did it! He did it! He did it. He did it.